Hi guys and welcome again to Eswakago YouTube channel and again this is where we inspire, we inform and we also encourage people and on my today's video um, I would want to talk about being conned green card money and this is my self experience, it's a personal experience, it's not a story, it is real stuff, okay? So uh, I don't know if I have, um, I have ever mentioned this before, but I did get conned when I was in the process of green card. So what happened is, um, after I played green card, I went uh, to Nyeri town where I was operating a, a, a hotel. Not a big hotel, not a luxurious one, but something just, um, uh, just a regular hotel and I was also selling some milk so um and it happened that i believe by then all my relatives had heard that i'm gonna be going to america but they didn't know when so there is this my cousin there is this my first cousin first cousin um he came to me and by then i was pregnant with my second born so uh he came to visit me at the hotel and as usual he's my blood so i welcomed him and we would have a nice talk since um you know he's my cousin he's like my brother there is nothing biggie there is nothing to be suspicious about so the first day he came uh, by himself and then the second day he came with another guy who was a friend to him and he gonna be later be the same person they called me with so the reason as to why I had moved from Nairobi to Nyeri is because I wanted to start a business and in Nairobi the business was requiring a lot of cash that I didn't I didn't have and we have this process no the process about green card will come when I'm in Nyeri. So the reason as to why I moved from Nairobi was it because of green card because I just played green card and forgot about it. And then I went to Nyeri to operate a business. The business was just for my own use, not for green card. So when I was in Nyeri, that is when I got the information that I had been selected to process the visa, uh, the DV, Lorari, for, for visa. Hmm. I believe out of excitement I did tell some of the relatives or maybe my family members told them or they got to know one way or the other and it's not a biggie so this cousin of mine comes and we have a good time uh, I, uh, we talk and then he goes the following day he comes with another guy a friend and they introduced to me by then I already know I'm going so they introduced to me and I'm in the process of looking for this money so the devil is usually very very cunning and he will always represent a fake like a genuine one when you are too close to get the, to getting the genuine one the devil will always bring the fake or we call it um what do we call a fake something the other name for a fake something counterfeit the devil has everything everything that you see on this world that is original the devil does carry the counterfeit and it's too close to look like an original so they come and they told me they have a plan and they have they have been um they have a friend who works who works or who manufactures who is one of the people who manufactures money for the entire <laughs> Guy, what that means <laughs> for the entire country of Kenya. We had some juice, I remember. It was juice or something we drink. We did take a drink. But whatever happened after that, I would do everything they asked me. Like to an extent of call my sister. Tell her you need 5k urgently, you're gonna refund it after your check goes through. I would do the same and he is right there. So this money is supposed to be uh, duplicated and we're gonna become millionaires. Hey, wow boy, millionaire. Up to date, up to date, I have never felt so much embarrassed because calling people and asking them money on his behalf 
and now I owed a lot of money plus I don't even have green card money 420,000 which I didn't even know how I'm gonna come up with if there is something I have ever did in life there are two things I have ever did in life and there are two people I will never forget in my life the, f the first one is that cousin of mine because I was pregnant and I went through hell trying to tell people I did not con them and trying to come up with their money and also looking for green card money it was close to a hundred thousand or more than that I had to sell my business equity I had to sell a deep freezer that was so big that I was using for uh, storing milk I had to you to sell my I think K gas I had to sell so much to repay people and also to revive my business because I also gave them all my business money all my business money I don't want to say I, I was young and stupid I just want to leave it at I was conned that's it later I will learn that there is something they did actually because they told me we're gonna go to your living area and we, then we're gonna duplicate the money because we already have the chemical hey <laughs> guy me with my five brain I couldn't see beyond what they say remember I don't know this friend I only know my cousin but I have so much trust with him right now that I cannot question what he's telling me everything he tells me is correct and one thing I came to realize later is that he wouldn't let me send the money to him through M-Pesa. He wanted me to get the money from his sisters and brothers and then go withdraw that money and give it to him as cash. Why? He doesn't want to be he doesn't want to leave any evidence behind. Me, I am not even questioning everything. Dump, dump to the end. Niliyoshwa, huh? Unasemaga kuoshwa, go kumudhuo. Yani they took every single penny I had. I think they thought because I'm doing the green card process, I have money. No, I didn't have money if you get to watch this video. I didn't have money. You made me to go through hell up to a point whereby I felt like I want to take my life for the very first time. Very first time and last time. I felt like I am not worth it. I felt stupid. I felt foolish. I felt empty. I felt hopeless. I felt, I felt, I felt. And I don't know how to take my life. I, I have never thought about it. Even if I say today I'm going to take my life, it's not something that's going to happen in the next minute because I don't know how to do that and I wouldn't want to know. So eventually I didn't take my life. Of course, that's why you are seeing me here today. But there are two people in my life that I will never forget. That cousin of mine and another one more person. Because whatever they did to me left a very big type of embarrassment. I hate being embarrassed. I hate being embarrassed but to clear my name was so hard on both occasions on both occurrences you can mess up with my money you can mess up with everything else but not my name when you mess up with my name that I have to clear my name it's hard to convince people that I did not do it yet I didn't you used whatever you used to do this and it left me at a point whereby I looked like a thief, I looked like a th the, the real con man. I hate it up to date. I forgive him because I cannot dwell there. A hundred thousand back then to me was like a million right now, or maybe more than a million right now. But if you're watching this and you have ever planned of conning a person, or you, you think you can con a person to make yourself rich please never ever do that because conning people can even lead a person to a depression i felt so bad i've never forgotten the scenario the incidents how it happened where it happened the things that followed and so on and so on i only came to know that is the work he does later through his real sisters and brothers they knew who 
the person he was. I didn't. Because I only saw a blood brother, nothing else. My cousin, my first cousin, like, they will never lie to me. Like, it's so hard for a person, even a con man, to come and con their own people. They go somewhere else, they are not known. But anywho, God repaid me in a way that I was able to forget about it. Today, I would... I wouldn't say I cannot talk to him, I would still do, but what I cannot do with him any longer is to trust anything, anything beyond how are you, how are you, good, period. That is all we can do now and may God, may God just deal with him because that is all I can say. That was my con man story. I was conned until I felt like I cannot be able to process the green card anymore because now I have a debt that I have to pay. And the, the ones that I owed, they kept on calling me. They kept me on my toes like I was restless. Since that day, I really hated to have any debt. I really hated to owe anyone any money. Even if I was to owe, I better go to the bank up to date. I better go to the bank because owing people can also make you peaceless because they will call you they will tell you things they will threaten you they will say all things and when I came to do my fundraiser to come to America they never contributed even a 50 cents they never because they believed that I'm a con a con woman and I don't blame them because that is who I presented or who I was presented to them like they came to know this whole story but still they thought i was together with their brother but there are so many people who go to prison for the wrong reasons for things they did not do for things they were conned or something they were put into without knowing all i tell you before you do something that is so big before someone comes to you and tells you i have this plan i want us to do this and we're going to become this please call a second and a third person and share with them what that person did told you and never ever follow their instructions if possible do not drink or eat with them at all before they before they engage you into something that you will not be you will not have the power to get yourself out from they're gonna get the power to control you only later i came to learn that in nairobi these things do happen some someone will just like uh they're gonna make you breathe something or they're gonna spray something or they're gonna spray something to you and then you will follow their instructions but you know what nothing will get out of this world not being rewarded to you a hundredfold of what you served okay nothing you will never get out of this world before getting served of the same measure times a hundred of what you served others so whatever you serve out there be warned be careful just know that you're gonna reap and you're gonna reap it in hundreds okay guys that was it for today be careful out there as you process your green card i wish you all the best and for to all the green card winners congratulations and i wish you all the best and i'll see you when you come on to this side cheers and have a good good moment